Welcome back to White Shoulders Boar Goats and Farmstead. Today we're going to show you how we tattoo our kids and put tags in their ears. Okay, so today we're going to tattoo the newest baby's ear, ears, and give him a ear tag. So what you have to have, or what you need to have for what we're doing, is I have two of these pliers. One has the numbers, one has the herd prefix, um, uh, rubber gloves, baking soda. I use Clorox wipes to wipe the inside of the ears. Um, here's our ear tagger. And in this little box, we have ink and all of our little letters. So I need to go and get the goat. So if you've never done this before, um, you have to loosen this up, flip this open, and then we're going to have to find number 101. We have one zero in here. So now I gotta find a one. There's one. This is the year letter uh, of an L for boar goats for 2021. Uh, let's see if I could find another one. There we go. So I have 101 in my pliers. Tighten this up as tight as you can tighten it. And the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it comes out right. So what I do is I just get a piece of paper of any sort and I squeeze down on it. Make sure it says 101 and it does say 101. Okay, and like I said, I have two of these pliers. One of them has my herd prefix in it, and I never change this. Um, it saves a whole lot of time just by having this one already uh, set up and ready to go. All I ever do is change the numbers and the letter of the year, so it makes it a whole lot faster and easier. Now we'll go get the goat. <laughs> He's out here somewhere. You had them babies yet? Where's my little fella? There he is. He's taking him a sunshine bath. Look at there. He's sunning. Okay, so here's our little culprit. He is a full blood buck. Uh, so he'll get tattooed and he's a nice buck so he unfortunately gets to keep his horns because he probably won't stay his mother is not very happy back there so she's gonna make all kinds of noise so we got to clean his ear And I don't have to even, I can just look at this ink and it gets all over me. So, just in case you wonder about the ink, it's a pain. They don't really like their ears cleaned. Because it's not something that's normal for them. They lick their ears. Well, I'm not licking his ear. I'll get a couple paper towels, dry them out. He's about 12 days old. All right, we got your ear cleaned out. So then, Put on your rubber gloves. Yeah. 
And I do this to keep some of the ink off of me. It does not always stay off of me. Okay, so. Ink lasts a long time because you don't really need that much. So we'll put some in one ear. And you want to make sure that you get it in between the veins and that way it'll keep it from bleeding. So let's put some in there. Some people wipe this off when they're done and I don't. I don't care if they have green all over them for a few days. It won't hurt them. Hold still, buddy. Okay. Randy might have green on him, too. So, your herd prefix, which is this one, goes in the right ear. But you're standing behind him. It's this ear here. He's not going to like this very much. He's going to scream for just a couple minutes. I got it in there. So after you put that in there, you get a little bit more of your ink. And you're going to rub this in. Really good. And they don't like that part either because it they say it hurts. Uh, take your baking soda <coughs> put a little bit in there don't like that either <laughs> he's mad okay <laughs> So, the other side has our other number. I've already tested it to make sure it was right. You got him? Mm -hmm. And a little bit of that. You should be able to see that. You can see the numbers in there. Put this over the top of it. In there really good. Just some more bacon soda. He's gonna make Randy wear it. And believe me, it's easier to do it when they're little than if they're full size. You got one tag and you're done, buddy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And you know, like me, no uh, let's see what ear does he get his tag in. Okay. So now he gets his ear tag. Make sure Scrapey's on the outside. He's not very happy about this part. Buddy, you're going to have to hold still because... Okay. <laughs> Try to get it be between the veins. Because if you don't, it's going to bleed. Now he's been ear tagged. Oh, not yet. i got to fix the tag. He's mad. But that's okay. So your tag should read like so with your scrapey number and his number. Hold on to him. We're going to weigh him. Okay, so now he's going to get weighed. Because I like to write this stuff down. He is... 
18 pounds. Now he can go back to mama. Oh, green ears and all. There you go. Yep, I'll get him some milk and everything will be just fine. So when I'm all done, I try to wipe all the green off of everything. Um, I don't care how hard I try, it never seems like it comes off. Because I'm always wearing green. And it all goes back in my little box. For the next time. And tattooing doesn't hurt them. They're just mad for just a little bit. He don't. He he doesn't even want mom. So he'll probably go take him a nap. Um, tattooing for him uh, is because that way he can be registered and. Sometimes I register them, sometimes I don't. It just depends on when I sell them or if I'm going to use them. If I'm going to use them for breeding, then I will register them and I have to get DNA on them. Um, if I'm not and I'm just selling to an individual, then I do not register them. Um, it's like... Twenty dollars to register them, and then it's thirty-three dollars for the test because they have to be DNA tested in order to paper your kids or future kids. So we put him back. He had a little bit of milk off of mom and then decided he wanted to go in one of the barrels and she can't get to him because that's where the creep feed is for the kids. So now she's just going to keep talking to him and he's going to take a nap. So what I normally do now is I'll do this average rate of gain, which he is currently 18 pounds. He started out at 12.8 pounds and he is currently 12 days old which gives him an average daily gain of 0 0.50, which is a half a pound a day, which is pretty good. Um, I would hope that he would be that because his mother is only raising a single, so he should be getting all the milk and not having to fight over it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you to the new subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.